Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best video game movies. For this list, we're looking at the absolute best movies based on video games. Do note that we're not considering any of the Pokemon movies as those have a list of their own. Which of these was your favorite? Share with us down in the comments. Number 10. Silent Hill We understand that as a movie, Silent Hill is far from perfect, but for a standard horror flick, it gets the job done. The writing and story aren't its strongest aspects, far from it. However, Silent Hill does show an understanding of its source material through visuals, environments, and general tone. It also manages to capture the look of the characters, which is something not many video game movies achieve. And much like the games, it does hold some mystery in its own strange ways. If you're a Silent Hill fan, you might want to give this one a shot if you haven't already. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Dive into a rich world with millions of players, hundreds of champions to collect, and tons of activities like dungeons and PvP with Raid Shadow Legends, downloaded on mobile and desktop for free. Now let's take a look at three of my favorite badass champions you can collect in Raid. This is Duchess Lilitu, a powerful legendary demon spawn who supports her allies in all areas of play. Now Harvest Jack is the true king of Halloween, with the ability to steal buffs from his enemies to empower his team, not to mention great crowd control and a destructive poison that slowly kills, he is a nightmare to fight against. And here we've got Soul Drinker, definitely one of the coolest looking demons around who can deal some serious damage. And this month, Raids just released a huge new feature, Awakening, and a brutal new dungeon, the Iron Twins Fortress. If you take down the Iron Twins, you'll gain the ability to awaken your champions. Awakening your champions lets you choose a powerful blessing that can transform how they perform in battle. The new blessings look great, and I love the added level of strategy and depth that they give to battles. And Raid has just released a super-powered legendary version of everybody's favorite champion, Death Knight. Ultimate Death Knight is the pinnacle of power, and he can be yours for free. Just log in and play Raid for 7 days between now and October 27th, and Ultimate Death Knight will be added to your team. Use DK Rise's promo code for a bunch of free items to instantly level your new strongest champion all the way to level 50, 5 star ascension. Start playing Raid today. Click my link in the description or scan my QR code here on screen and you'll get unique bonuses worth $30. We're talking a free epic champion, Aina, 200k silver, 1 energy refill, 1 XP boost, and 1 ancient shard so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in game. All these rewards will be waiting for you right here. Number 9. Mortal Kombat Some folks will always have a love for the hotkey 1995 Mortal Kombat, and some for that abysmal sequel. But when the 2021 feature premiered, our minds were blown by just how good it turned out. It had everything a Mortal Kombat movie should have that its predecessors didn't. A solid story, aesthetically accurate characters, the right amount of campiness you'd expect from the 90s, and of course, tons and tons of gore. Even though the movie falters a bit in the third act, Mortal Kombat is well worth your time. You will return to Outworld at once. Number 8. Werewolves Within It's called freedom! Uh, you know, as long as you're not doing it on, on U.S. forest. I don't recognize your job, your stupid uniform, or the government. For those unfamiliar, Werewolves Within is one of those imposter games where you and your friends each have roles, and you all have to figure out which one of you is the werewolf. Though the movie didn't replicate the VR title's goofy and mystical aesthetic, it manages to stand on its own legs while also replicating that excitement of mystery with its own fun humor. It's also the first movie based on a video game to earn a certified fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes, which is why it pains us to say that the movie was a commercial flop, netting under a million dollars at the box office against a six and a half million dollar budget. Trust us, you absolutely should see this. Nobody move! What is she, Michael Myers? What? Wipe your feet. See, clean. Number seven, Street Fighter II, the animated movie. Friend, why don't you throw more punches? Might break a nail, huh? Wooga, wooga, wooga. 
For a time in the mid to late 90s, it seemed as though every single fighting game was getting its own movie. Tekken, Fatal Fury, even Mortal Kombat got an animated movie. Why? Well, it was all because of Street Fighter II, the animated movie. With a budget of only $6 million, this feature managed to tell a compelling story with some ridiculous moments that have now become memes, while delivering exceptional fights. Basically, it set the bar for what a fighting game movie should be, and it would inspire more animated Street Fighter movies in later years. Number 6. Bayonetta Bloody Fate Yeah, we were surprised to find that a Bayonetta movie actually happened, and it's more incredible than we were anticipating. Bloody Fate isn't so much a beat-for-beat -beat adaptation, but more of a slight retelling of the first game. Regardless, if you're a purist, this movie captures all the best parts of the Bayonetta games. Over-the-top action? Check. Sexy flair? Check. Remarkable voice acting? Respect to the source material? A fantastic sub and dub? Check, check, and check. How this hasn't launched sequels, we'll never know, but if you loved the first Bayonetta, you absolutely need to see Bloody Fate. <laughs> Number 5. Final Fantasy VII Advent Children The last thoughts of Geostigma is dead. Those remnants will join the live stream and girdle the planet. Final Fantasy has somewhat struggled to take off in the world of television and cinema. Of them all, Advent Children was the absolute best, and it still holds up today. The visuals, the fight scenes, the additional lore, it's all one big cinematic package for fans of Final Fantasy VII. Unfortunately, that amount of fan service also works against it. If you don't know anything about FF7, you're probably going to be lost. But if you already know FF7's lore, Advent Children will seem like a dream come true. You see, everything's alright. Number 4. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 It's honestly a little absurd that of all the video game IPs out there, Sonic would be the one to show Western audiences what a good theatrical movie based on a game looks like. We'll be the first to admit that it's still far from perfect, the writing is a bit rough. However, the visuals, character animation, and respect to the source material are what make it stand out from so many other video game movie adaptations. On top of that, Jim Carrey manages to make Robotnik his own character without stepping on the toes of hardcore Sonic fans. To the new norm. Number 3. Resident Evil Damnation Great. Now I got a cowardly lion to deal with. A Resident Evil movie that's actually good? Yes, a thousand times yes. Resident Evil Damnation is exactly what a Resident Evil movie should be and more. Not only do you have Leon and Ada as a part of the main cast, but the story is told in such a way that anyone can enjoy the film, regardless of their familiarity with the source material. The only reason we didn't put it higher is because it comes off more like an action movie and doesn't feature as many horrific moments as Resident Evil fans would have preferred. But hey, bonus points for giving Leon the sultry voice of Matthew Mercer. I'd feel the same way if I was you. But the option of taking our own lives no longer belongs to us. Number 2. Geki Joban Dobutsu no Mori, aka Animal Crossing. At face value, an Animal Crossing movie seems impossible to achieve considering how there's no concrete narrative in the games, and yet this Japan-only animated feature perfectly captures everything about the IP. Throughout its 87-minute runtime, Animal Crossing weaves a tale about a young lady in her first year of living in the titular town. Filled with humor, heartbreak, quirkiness, and a carefree attitude, Animal Crossing is very much a feel-good movie that replicates the essence of its source material without feeling obnoxiously cute or corny. <laughs> Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Rampage. The love shown for this arcade classic was monstrous. Persona 3, the movie series. Four fantastic films that perfectly adapt this legendary JRPG. Uncharted, questionable casting, but a decent action flick nonetheless. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. 
If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Ace Attorney. This is a case that I said. Ah. The court. This is a case that I said. Ace Attorney is by far the best video game movie adaptation to this day, and it's not just on the basis of it being a generally good movie. Ace Attorney succeeds in balancing its drama, comedy, and fan service in a way that no moment oversteps or intrudes upon another. Everything feels natural in its world. No reference overstays its welcome, and every actor shows a clear understanding on who their character is and how to portray them with the utmost accuracy. And if you know nothing about Ace Attorney, you can still watch and enjoy it for its mystery, antics, and a compelling story. If you are an Ace Attorney fan, though, it's everything you could ever want from a movie about Phoenix Wright. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.